In his first speech on the national political stage, Donald Trump's vice presidential nominee, U.S. Senator J.D. Vance, came out swinging. We're done importing foreign labor. We're going to fight for American citizens and their good jobs and their good wages. Relatively unknown across the United States, Vance, a Yale Law School graduate who served in the U.S. military for six years, has served in elected office for about a year and a half. He was introduced by his wife, Usha Vance. Chosen to help lead our country through some of its greatest challenges, I am grateful to all of you for the trust you've placed in him. Wednesday night was a chance not only for Vance to introduce himself to the American public, but to prove his foreign policy credentials. Together, we will make sure our allies share in the burden of securing world peace. No more free rides for nations that betray the generosity of the American taxpayer. Delegates said they were not bothered by Vance's lack of experience. Really what we're electing here is potential leadership. And he has got proven potential leadership and he's not one of us old fossils. Or his past comments criticizing Trump. I love that he's young and he can be molded. I, th I And he is embracing the America first, which I also appreciate. And I think under Trump's tutelage, he can go pretty far. In a night focused on making America strong again, Trump's son summed up the choice facing voters. It's a choice between people who are proud of America and people who are ashamed of America. And ultimately, it's a choice between America last and America first. The convention closes Thursday evening with Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump's acceptance speech, his first time publicly speaking since surviving an assassination attempt. Katherine Gibson at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, VOA News.